sensory organs. How do you see? Rays of light pass through the pupil in your eye, which is like a small hole. Behind each pupil is a lens which bends light so that it shines on an area at the back of your eye called the retina. This makes an upside down picture on the retina of what you are seeing. The optic nerves in your eyes send this information to your brain which lets you see it the right way up. Why do your pupils change size? Your pupil is the black circle in the middle of the colored part of your eye. It is actually a hole in your eye that lets light in. Your eyes work just like a camera. When it is bright, your eyes do not need to let so much light in for you to see. So the muscles of the iris, the colored part of your eye, contract, making the pupil hole smaller. In dim light, the iris expands to make the pupil as large as possible to allow all the available light to enter your eye. Why do you have tears? Your eyes constantly make tears which stops your eyes from drying out. Tears contain proteins that kill germs helping prevent infections in your eyes. You blink about 15 times every minute, spreading the tears across your eyes. Extra tear fluid drains through a small tube into your nose, which is why your nose also runs when your eyes water or you are crying. Why are people's eyes of different colors? The color of your eyes depends on the amount of pigment that is in the iris. Brown eyes have a lot of pigment while blue eyes have a little. You inherited your eye color from your parents. The most common eye color is brown. If one of your parents has brown eyes and the other has blue eyes, your eyes will most likely be brown. What is color blindness? A person who is color blind cannot tell the difference between certain colors, most often red and green. This is a condition which is inherited and about 10% of males have it. It is very rare in females. Do carrots help you see in the dark? Carrots are rich in vitamin A, which is necessary for seeing in dim light. If your body doesn't get enough vitamin A, you will be less able to see in the dark. But carrots aren't the only food that is high in vitamin A. Other foods such as mangoes, milk, spinach and egg yolks will also help you see in the dark. The story that carrots help you to see in the dark originated during World War II as an explanation for how the British night fighter pilots were able to see German planes in the dark. Of course, the real reason was that the British had radar which was a top secret at that time. Do we have tears in our eyes only when we cry? A lot of tears flow from our eyes when we cry. These are visible to us. However, some tears are always present in the eyes which help wash away the dust and keep our eyes healthy. Why do some people need glasses? As light enters our eyes, it passes through a lens. This lens bends the rays of light to focus them at the back of the eye. But in some people, the lens cannot bend the light rays properly. They see a fuzzy image. Glasses help them to see clearly 
by focusing the light rays at the back of the eye. Why do animals' eyes shine in the dark? This is because their eyes reflect light back. So if you shine a light on them, the reflection can be seen in the dark. A man called Edwin Shaw from England noticed this and made cat's eyes from glass which were set in rubber and placed in the middle of roads helping drivers stay on the road in the dark. How do you smell? Smells consist of small particles called odorants. These enter your nose and are detected by special hairs called cilia on your olfactory cells. These scent particles dissolve in mucus in the nose and nerve signals are sent via the hairs to your brain which recognizes the smell. What is your tongue used for? Your tongue performs many functions. By providing a large surface area in your mouth, it allows your food to react easily with your taste buds. Because it is moist, it allows food to dissolve onto the surface of the tongue to aid digestion. The tongue also helps transport this food to the back of the throat for swallowing. Importantly for humans, your tongue is vital for forming words. Without it, we could not speak. Finally, doctors like to look at your tongue as it is a good indicator of your general health. What are taste buds? If you look closely at your tongue, you will see it is covered in hundreds of tiny little bumps. These bumps contain your taste buds and there are thousands of them. Your taste buds are chemical receptors that sense the different chemicals in your food and send signals to your brain. Some taste buds react to sugar, so the more sugar a food contains, a stronger sweet signal is sent to your brain. How many smells can humans detect? If your nose is working at its best, you can detect between a massive 4,000 to 10,000 smells. As you get older, your sense of smell deteriorates, so you can probably smell better than your parents or grandparents. Animals can smell a lot better than humans. A dog's sense of smell is at more than 1,000 times better than humans and a male emperor moth can smell a female mate seven miles away. Why can't you taste properly when you have a cold? Your sense of smell is a lot stronger than your sense of taste. When you taste food, you rely on its smell and texture as well. So when you have a cold and your nose is blocked, your sense of smell is reduced, making you unable to taste your food as when you are normal. What makes your mouth water? Saliva is the fluid made by glands in your mouth. It mixes with food and together with your teeth, mashes the food up and makes it easy to swallow. When you smell something you know to be delicious, your brain recognizes smell and sends signals to your mouth to make more saliva. How much saliva do you produce in your lifetime? You will produce about 26,300 liters of saliva in your lifetime, enough to fill two standard size swimming pools. Why does our nose run? Inside our nose there is a moist lining. When we catch a cold, 
the lining makes more moisture to try and wash the germs out, making our nose run. Skin How do bruises appear? If we hurt ourselves, we can get an injury under the skin. Blood vessels break and spread into the tissue near the injury. The dark colour of the blood shows through the skin as a bruise. What does your skin do? Skin provides a waterproof protective covering for your body. It keeps your body fluids in and infection out. Your skin also shields you from the sun's harmful rays and controls your body temperature. Because it contains nerve endings, your skin is sensitive to touch, pressure, warmth, cold or pain. Why do you sweat? Sweat is your body's way of getting rid of excess heat. When you get hot, small blood vessels in your skin expand and draw heated blood to the surface. As sweat evaporates from your skin, it draws heat away from the blood vessels. Cooler blood then circulates in your blood vessels, cooling you down. How old is your skin? Every minute of the day, your skin sheds between 30 and 40,000 dead skin cells. Indeed, most of the dust in your house is made from dead skin cells. Rubbing your skin roughly will increase this rate. It takes your body about one month to have replaced every cell in your skin. Skin creams and lotions will help to keep the skin moist and supple. Why do people get wrinkles as they get older? When you are young, your skin is soft and supple. This means that when it stretches, it can snap back into shape, leaving a smooth surface. As you get older, your skin becomes less elastic. When it stretches, it cannot shrink all the way back. This stretched skin falls into the wrinkles we see on older people. Why do you get bruises? Bruises happen when you bang or bump yourself, damaging the muscle fibres and body tissues without breaking your skin. Small blood vessels in the damaged area are broken and blood escapes out of them under the skin. Because there is no break in the skin, the blood is trapped and forms red or purple marks on the skin. These change colour over time as the blood is reabsorbed and then gradually fade away. What are goosebumps? When you are cold, the blood vessels in your skin get narrower and you hardly sweat at all. Tiny muscles in your skin make your hairs stand up, which traps air around your body to keep you warm. This forms bumps on your skin called goose bumps or goose pimples. You don't have long or thick hair on your body but millions of years ago, people probably had a lot more hair on their bodies, so this reflex would have worked very well. Do people have the same fingerprint pattern? No two people in the world have the same fingerprint pattern. This is why fingerprints are used to identify people. Teeth why do our teeth decay? The food that we eat sticks to our teeth and germs thrive on it. As germs feed, they produce acid that can wear holes or cavities in our teeth. What is inside your teeth? 
there are two main parts to a tooth. The root is the part inside the gum which holds the tooth in place. The white part above the gum is covered in hard white enamel which is the hardest substance in your body. The center of the tooth is soft and contains blood vessels and nerves. How many teeth do you have? Most people get two sets of teeth, one after the other. Young children get their first set of teeth called milk teeth from about the ages of six months to three years. There are 20 milk teeth. From the age of about six years, your milk teeth start falling out and are replaced by adult teeth which cannot be replaced. Most adults have 32 teeth, though some adults don't get the four back wisdom teeth, so only have 28 teeth. Why are teeth of different shapes? If you look at your teeth, you will see that there are three different shapes. This is because different teeth need to do different jobs. The front teeth called incisors are narrow and sharp and are used for biting and cutting food up like biting into an apple. Next to them are the canines. They are pointed for tearing and ripping food apart. The back teeth are molars which are wide and flat for grinding and crushing the food that you eat, helping to make it soft for you to swallow. Why don't young babies have teeth? Even before babies are born, they have teeth. They are like tiny buds deep in the gums. Very occasionally, a baby may be born with one tooth already growing out of the gums. Babies don't need teeth until they start to eat solid food at around the age of six months. So the teeth stay in the gums where they are protected until they are needed. What is toothache? You may have felt toothache which can be very painful. It is often felt as a throbbing pain which gets worse when you eat or drink, especially hot or cold things. Toothache can be caused by a cavity or hole in the tooth which makes the nerve in the tooth more sensitive. Other causes might be an abscess with infection around the tooth or gum or bits of food trapped between the teeth. It is important to see a dentist if your teeth are painful. Why do you get tooth decay? Plaque is a whitish deposit that forms on your teeth which causes tooth decay. This is formed mostly from bits of old food and germs that are found in your mouth. Sugar and bacteria eat through the enamel coating on your teeth. Your gums can also become infected and start to bleed easily. Brushing your teeth thoroughly at least twice a day will help prevent the plaque and prevent tooth decay. Why do milk teeth fall? The teeth are hard bone-like structures implanted in the sockets of the jaws. There are two sets of human teeth. Milk teeth are those present during childhood and all are usually shed. Milk teeth can be divided into three categories, incisors, canines and molars. By the age of two and a half to three, the child will usually have a complete 20 milk teeth. Subsequently, after the age of six, the milk teeth become loose 
and are replaced by the permanent teeth. The falling of the milk teeth is due to the weakening of the root which holds the teeth. The root dissolves with the result that the milk teeth fall and are replaced by the permanent teeth. There appears a gap between the upper incisors. The gap tends to close when the permanent canines erupt. Did people use false teeth in ancient times? Evidence has been found in tombs in Italy that people used false teeth as long ago as 700 BC.